The Acropolis of the Sea, a remarkable piece of ancient history deep in the Mediterranean. For more than two and a half thousand years, the shipwreck has thought to be lost to mankind. But a chance discovery has meant it's now open to tourists as an underwater museum. From the Greek island of Alonisos, we're on a journey back in time. A boat ride to 500 BC, when at this very place, a large cargo ship struck trouble and sank to the sea floor. On a clear day, you can actually see the shipwreck from here on the surface, but the best view is 28 metres below. After descending into the crystal clear water, you're soon transported to a world of ancient wonder. Named after a nearby island, the Peristera stretches for 25 metres, longer than any shipwreck discovered from the classical era. Much of its timber structure has been lost, but its cargo remains. More than 4,000 storage jars known as amphorae, which archaeologists believe carried wine between ancient cities. As many times as uh, I go down, I don't uh, get used to the feeling that uh, I have. It's uh, really amazing. It is uh, like a bite of history. For two millennia, the wreck had been a secret of the Aegean Sea, hidden below the surface until 1985, when a then 14-year-old Costas Mavrikas was spearfishing with his father. When we realise what we see with our eyes, it was a big shock. We were thinking, what is this? And it was so wonderful, so fantastic. Never, never in my life I have a feeling like that again. The Mavrikas family wanted others to share their experience and now, more than three decades later, they have their wish. The Peristera opened as an underwater museum in August and is already attracting divers from around the world. If I want to describe it with one word, is wow. Modern technology is ensuring the ancient treasure is protected with scientists able to monitor the shipwreck 24 hours a day. If someone uh, dies without permission, we uh, take our boat, go there and investigate the situation. Cameras also allow those who can't scuba dive to have a similar experience on dry land. There are still many unanswered questions about the Peristera, including what caused the ship to sink all those years ago. Archaeologists are working hard to try and solve that mystery, but so far they have very few clues as to what went wrong. The reasons could be that uh, the ship was overloaded. Maybe it was fire because the wood of the ship uh, was burned. Maybe were pirates. Who knows? We will never know. In Alonisos, Greece, Ben Avery, Nine News.